and it's going to be very difficult on her to convince the people that this is her child and it's a word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her don't speak don't speak we will take care of you and if you see any human being say verily i have vowed a fast on to the most gracious so i shall not speak to any human being this day say that you are fasting from speaking because what will she tell the people if she tell the truth nobody is going to believe her she will tell them an angel came to me and told me that they are not going to believe her so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her don't speak she now arrived it was late afternoon when she arrived with the child back to her people going back into the place where she was in seclusion holding the child at her chest and walking very carefully very very calm relaxed her face was beaming with light and she was looking very happy she is holding the child covering the child very well the people began to see and started saying isn't that the mary who's supposed to be in the place of worship isn't she the one who's supposed to be the pious isn't she the one who is the descendant of the prophet harun and because he was so pious and she had his blood in her being from his lineage they always reminded her you are from the family of such a pious man your mother is pious your father is pious your generations your grandfathers it dates back all the way to harun they said oh mary indeed you have brought a thing that is mighty what have you done and then they said oh sister of harun your father was not a man who used to commit adultery no your mother was an unchaste woman what have you done so they are already accusing her now this was an accusation of adultery how did you become pregnant how did you get this child they all asking they accusing fa asharat ilayhi she knew the child is going to speak subhanallah i don't need to say anything today so when she pointed to him they looked at her they realized she doesn't want to talk she's now pointing at the child is she foolish they said how can we speak to a child in a cradle here and as they were in this discussion and they were talking to each other and talking to her and telling her how foolish are you you want us to talk a babe to a baby they heard the baby say inni abdullah indeed i am the servant of god indeed i am the servant of god abdullah and he has given me the scripture and made me a prophet and he has made me blessed wherever i am and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah as long as i remain alive and made me dutiful to my mother and he has not made me a wretched tyrant and peace be upon me the child is still speaking subhanallah these people are baffled they are gobsmacked don't know what to say silent just watching he's saying may peace be upon me the day i was born the day i shall die the day i will be resurrected may the peace of allah be upon me he is speaking they are shocked so how do they react these were priests these were rabbis these were people who used to teach the religion watching they had just accused someone of adultery and what happened as they are watching they are looking they are hearing there is no ways this is magic there is no ways this is anything but a miracle there is no ways this is anything but a sign from allah the creator it is miraculous they know the piety of this woman they know the family they know everything they can see she is not worried they can see the miracle child they can see everything but they are worried that if we now acknowledge this child they are thinking future this child is going to take the carpet from beneath our feet pull it and what will happen we won't have leadership anymore nobody is going to follow us anymore people will now follow him he is going to be the boss he's going to be above us the best thing for us to do is from now let us fight him from that stage so they continued no we're not interested we would like to un- you to understand this is a sin you have committed immorality you've come with a child this child is illegal illegitimate they continued accusing maryam and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we purified her she was pure and there isa alayhi salam grew up with the guardianship and the care of his mother of course na father a mother that had passion 
and care for his son, knowing the destiny of his son. And Isa alayhi salam grew up in Beit Lahim. And Beit Lahim is just a few kilometers away from Jerusalem. After that day that Isa alayhi salam spoke, when he was only a few days old, Isa never spoke again until he grew up like every other child grows up and start to speak in the age that every other child speaks. And his mother, she was so cautious on Isa alayhi salam from the envy of Bani Israel, especially the leaders of Bani Israel. And when Isa alayhi salam grew up and became a mature child, his mother was so afraid on Isa alayhi salam and the news started to come out about Isa and the miracle that happened on the hands of Isa. And many of the leaders, especially the religious leaders of Bani Israel, did not accept that tension to be taken away from them to go to a child or a mother. Bani Israel were led by corrupt leaders. Even their religious leaders were corrupt. And they wanted to protect themselves. And the news that came out, that their ending and the disclosure of the corruption will take place on the hands of Isa a.s. So they start to plot and plan against Isa alayhi salam. And for that, his mother used to be so cautious, so protective on Isa alayhi salam. So she used to take him away from the city many times until she went to uh, Jerusalem. And she settled in Jerusalem with Isa alayhi salam. And in Jerusalem, Beit al-Maqdis, there's a high hill, there's food, there's fruit, and there's water there. A blessed place. There are people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says have started calling this young boy the son of God. Why was this? This was because they didn't see the father. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Nay, it is not befitting for the creator to take a son, to have a begotten son. It is blaspheme to relate to the creator who only needs to say be and anything he wants to make is created automatically. It is blasphemous to relate to him, to say he has a begotten son. How can they say that Allah, the most merciful, has a son? And it is not befitting for the most merciful to have a son. Allah says, this statement is so blasphemous that the skies want to tear apart. And the earth wants to explode. And the mountains want to fall prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the severity and seriousness of such a dangerous statement against the maker himself. So even the creation of Allah are bearing witness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not taken a son. And they are agitated at the fact that people are saying this. Yes, he did not have a father, but Adam neither had a father nor a mother and Eve she was also created miraculously. And when it comes to Jesus, may peace be upon him, he did not have a father. That's what the Quran says. But you cannot say the son of Allah and the begotten. The word beget is so blasphemous. If you have to check the meaning of it in the Oxford dictionary, you'd probably hide your face. May Allah protect us. How can we say that for the maker of the universe? In a young age, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jal had granted Isa alayhi salam the wisdom and the knowledge as he did grant Yahya alayhi salam his cousin from before. And when Isa alayhi salam reached the age of 30, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Injil to Isa alayhi salam. And the Injil came as a confirmation for the Torah. Isa alayhi salam himself says, I have came to confirm the law of the Torah dot by dot, jot by jot, letter by letter. This has not only been mentioned in Quran, but it is in the Bible too. Isa Islam said, I have came to confirm the law of the Torah. And after many years, Paul comes up and says, You do not have to follow the law. You do not have to keep up with the law of Torah. In fact, you have to leave it behind because that's not the religion. And they followed Paul and they leave the word of Isa, which is in the Bible of today. Subhanallah, that's why the true founder of the Christianity of today is Paul, not Isa Islam. It is not the religion of Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. The Torah that was revealed to Musa alayhi salam, he said, I came to confirm what's in it and to permit some of the things that were forbidden on you. In the Torah, the Torah is so strict, there are matters, there are matters and things that are forbidden on Bani Israel that were too harsh and tough on them. When Isa came with the Injil, 
the Injil in which what Allah revealed had permitted some of that. Interesting video. Um, I've been thinking this entire time. I mean, there's many great points to uh, speak about, but we can't speak about everything. I was wondering if Jesus came to confirm something in Torah, or is it to confirm the Torah? Is it safe to say that people who follow the Bible shouldn't follow the Old Testament since Jesus only has to do with the New Testament? Or what are your thoughts? Because if, if whatever is contained in the Old Testament, Jesus comes and says uh, things are changing, it's not everything that you have to follow or the rules have changed here and there. That means the New Testament is the way. So should the Bible have all those um, chapters? Because, I don't know, it's just a thought. It's just a thought. And it's good how the person behind this video is actually taking time to talk about things from other religions as well. Of course, he's going to side with his religion. That's why I always ask questions from the people that are not, uh, that don't follow the same religion. What are your thoughts on this? Like, what are your thoughts on the way the story of Jesus is actually told? Otherwise, I'd have to agree with the fact that, of course, Jesus was a regular person like the rest of us. He was a prophet, yes, but not the son of God. I mean, we all refer to ourselves as children of God, but not once do we say, like what can i say jesus is not jesus um god is our biological father do you understand i hope i'm making sense let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video